Hi there, I'm the Nature Guy and we're back from our trip from California and Arizona. It was a lot of fun. But while we were there, we did see an interesting bird that I want to talk to you about. It's called the Sora. Now, a Sora is a type of rail. And rails are small, sort of chicken-like birds with really long toes. Um, and uh, they're, they love to be in the marsh. They walk in between the plants. So, now, when I say a chicken-like bird, I, I mean from the side. But from the front, they're actually very thin. In fact, that's where the phrase skinny as a rail came from. Their thin bodies allow them to walk through um, the very dense uh, cattail marshes. Uh, and so uh, they, they, they're very secretive. They're, they're hard to see often. In fact, you'll often hear them before you'll see them. <clears throat> I'll get talking about their sound in a little bit later. But uh, we got to see two rails that were kind of really out in the open. I'm not sure why. The sun was shining and there was an opening in the marsh and they were there and calling and, and we got some really good looks and pictures. And the two rails that we saw, the Sora, that's this one here. Uh, the Sora has a, a, a short yellow bill. And then the other one that we saw was a Virginia rail. It has a longer orange bill. These two rails will spend the summers in Michigan, but in the winter they have to migrate south to open marshlands. And uh, in California, in the deserts where you add water and you have marshes, uh, then these birds like to accumulate. So the Sora rail does make a very interesting sound. And I'm going to play this sound for you uh, so you can hear it. It's a really crazy sound. If you're not expecting it, it can be a little startling if you're out in the night in the marsh when they love to sing a lot. Uh, but they, uh, when they do this song, it's very interesting. I got to see that. Um, they face downward into the water when they make this song. They kind of fluff up, take a big deep breath, and then make the call. Um, and it, I guess it echoes off the surface of the water and travels quite a distance. So you can be fairly far away from these things and hear them, hear them quite loud. So they certainly have a way of projecting their voice. Uh, so that others can hear and that's how they define territories and talk to each other in this very thick uh, sort of jungle of cattails where it's hard to see. Uh, they rely on sound a lot. So what's the lesson we can learn from these sauras? Well, I love the way they project their sound off the water and, and since I study auditory biology and animals, it's, it's pretty intriguing to me. But it reminds me of what the Bible says about Jesus' second coming. Not only will every eye see him coming, we will hear because the trumpets will be blaring. There will be all of the angels singing, Alleluia. It's going to be quite the sound, and I can't wait. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye.